Hi, it's Kutsky again, back with another tutorial on Ableton Live. This time I'm going to show you how to put together DJ mixes live and on the fly. I've done a video already that showed you how to program your DJ mixes using Arrangement View, where you literally drop your tracks in and program in all the automations. I'm going to show you how to do that in a thing called Session View, which is what you could use to DJ live in a club. So first of all, you click the vertical lines over here, which will drop you into session view. And then what we want to use is Ableton Live to kind of replicate a traditional DJ setup digitally. So first thing we want to do is get rid of that MIDI channel, highlight and hit delete. And if you right click on it, you can then say insert audio track. And the best way to think about it is if you say that this here is your left deck and this one over here is your right deck. So just to clarify that, I'm going to rename them deck A and deck B. And then as before, jump to your folder where all your music is and then drag in the tracks that you might want to play in that particular set. So here I'm going to stick in UFO and Warrior Dance. Now I've already uh, been through the beat warping on the last tutorial, the Ableton 101, so I'm going to kind of fly through it on here, but if you get stuck with the beat warping it might be worth going back and having a look at that again. So basically double click the track and you'll get the overview of it. Dive in, pick your first beat, set it as 101, make sure you delete any markers before your first beat and then hit warp from here straight and you know that's going to be 126 then. And then same again for any other tracks in your project. And then what you want to do once you've got your tracks in there, you want to duplicate them so that they're in your right deck as well, because you never know which order you're going to want to play and whether you're going to want to play it in the left deck or the right. So to make sure that all your tracks are available at all time, if you just highlight, copy, and then paste, do the same again for this track. Just to give you a little overview of what the controls are, as you can see the little triangles, they're obviously your play buttons, so if you click that at any point it'll play that track and that will be quantized to the grid as well, so all your tracks are going to be lined up so you can literally hit the play button, any of the four beats running up to your next end of bar and then the track's going to drop in on time and be perfectly in sync which is quite a cool feature, although a lot of people do kind of bang on about that being cheating and all that. But yeah, so um, to replicate the DJ setup a little bit more, what you might want to do is stick in a three band EQ. So if you go to your um, audio plugins, audio effects, and then throw EQ3 in on that deck, EQ3 in on that deck, and then you've literally got your bass, mid, and treble as you would on a normal one anyway. And then um, another little cool thing is you can assign a crossfader at the bottom. If that's not showing up on your screen, click the little X and you've got a crossfader there and you can choose which deck is assigned to which side at the bottom so you'll say I want that to be on side A, that would be on side B and then you can literally just start mixing from here so if you hit play on the track and if you want to get an overview of the track as well you can obviously just select it and you can see with a cursor how far you are through it so we'll skip a bit further into this one now and then get our second track ready and then as I said just before it comes in click and there's your tracks in the mix and as you can see the crossfader now side A side B and then you've obviously got your channel volumes as well if you want to do it a bit more accurately and on each deck if you switch to your effects panel got your EQs so I'll just put that one on so you can hear it a bit clearer and these also act as kills as well
And then obviously I've only got two tracks in here, but you could build up your set beforehand. You could stick a hundred tracks in and then uh, you've just got them all to pick from as you go in through and then you can color code them as well. So you could change different genres of music or styles and stuff. Another cool feature about DJing like this in Ableton Live is if you hit the record button before you start and then literally start off with your mix. Known throughout the academic world, the medical world, and known throughout the Air Force. When you switch back to your session view, you can see it's recorded in where the tracks were triggered, where, where they all started, and it'll also record in any automations, such as if you were messing around with the EQ. And as you can see, if you bring up at the bottom, you can see there was all the crossfader automation. So it's really nice if you want to put together a mixtape on the fly, really get into it as you would with a DJ setup. And then you can go back and then you can fine tune. If I didn't like that cut there, I didn't think that was right. You can just literally take them points out and it'll no longer be cutting across at that point. So yeah, it's quite a nice little thing. It's quite fiddly to do with the mouse and keyboard, but you can get a MIDI controller for it. There's thousands of them all available now, and it's just as simple as if you click your MIDI button at the top here, everything becomes MIDI assignable. So then if I wanted the crossfader to be assigned by a particular MIDI controller, I'll literally just click that and then give it a wiggle on the MIDI controller, and then when it switches back, that MIDI controller will then control that and you can literally go through, assign all your EQs, automation, so you can have a DJ mixer set up there and even have hot cues to trigger your tracks on. So it's quite an interesting way of working. I actually don't work like this with Ableton Live. I think it's a little bit boring. It's not really bringing anything new to the party. So I'm gonna show you some more complex tutorials later, but I think this is definitely a good way to get into DJ mixing using Ableton Live. So I hope you enjoyed that.